Formica is one of those household materials that actually really does have a place on a boat. But how do you install it when the place that you're installing it can't come off of the boat? Hi, I'm Nico Waters and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. Today I'm sharing some tips and tricks and some essential tools to installing Formica on board a boat. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by YouGoWare. Yugo has the only waterproof floating phone and tablet case using dry suit zipper technology. Invest in your safety because if you don't protect, you can't connect. Your electronics are fully functional while inside the bag and there's plenty of room for your keys, cash, and cards. To get the only dry bag on the market with zero device fails, visit yougoware.com. That's U-G-O-W-E-A-R.com. Use coupon code SAVE20BG for 20% off. You go. Just add water. Some people don't like the idea of Formica on a boat because their only experience is with the stuff that you find in the hardware store that is pre-installed over MDF, which is pressed cardboard, basically. But did you know that you can buy sheets of Formica and apply it yourself to whatever underlying substrate you might want. Formica by itself is a sheet material. It's made of paper that's been infused with some kind of resin that's heat resistant, it's smooth, and it's really pretty durable. It's also pretty waterproof. It cuts easily with a jigsaw or a router. It comes in all kinds of interesting colors and patterns, and you apply it with contact cement. A suggestion is that you order, particularly if you have lots of places on the boat where you want to Formica, you can order four by eight foot sheets and they come in a roll from a lot of big box stores. We haven't found them on the shelves, but we have had great success ordering from Home Depot. Most of the time, you're gonna rough cut Formica to the size that you need. You're gonna fit it over whatever you're installing, apply it with a contact cement, and then you use a router right along the edge to get the fit perfect. And this is the technique that we used for the chart table and the shelving that we're using. But with spaces that are already fixed in place, like bulkheads, you can't take those out to apply the formica. So what do you do? And what tools do you need? Well, the tools that you need are sort of your basic jigsaw and router, sandpaper, you want contact cement, maybe a paintbrush. We use a cheap chip brush is great. The very key pieces that you need that you might not think are important are you need a laminate roller and you need dowels. You'll understand why in just a minute. Oh, and don't forget the respirator and gloves. The steps that you want to do for installing Formica on an already installed surface, like on bulkheads. First of all, you're going to template. You want the Formica to be a very snug fit. So be very, very precise when templating. You're going to cut out the Formica sheet according to the template, and then you're going to dry fit. And then you're going to cut it as you need it to make sure that it fits perfectly. And then you're going to dry fit it again and cut it again if you need to and dry fit it again. Basically, you're going to dry fit and tweak any cuts until the Formica fits perfectly. Here's the key is you want to remember that when you install Formica, you're installing it with contact cement on both surfaces. And if you touch that contact cemented surface to the other contact cemented surface, they will not come apart. So plan your steps to getting that Formica piece into place. You may have to fit maybe one edge under existing trim. And if you know that you have to do that, you want to make sure that you practice that before you put contact cement on anything. Part of the dry fit process is also figuring out where you're going to lie the Formica down to apply the contact cement because the contact cement needs to dry for about 15 minutes between coats. So you'll want to lie it flat. It's not like you can apply it and hold on to it for the 15 minutes. Well, you can, but that would be pretty boring. If you need to apply the contact cement outside of the boat, make sure that you can fit that Formica back into place with the contact cement on it. So if you feel like you need to roll the contact cement back on itself in order to get it back into the boat, that's not going to work. So the dry fitting involves not only making sure the Formica fits perfectly where you want it to go, but that you can get it in and out and all the parts that are going to go into it. 
you'll rough up the surfaces with sandpaper you acetone clean them and when I say both surfaces I mean both the bulkhead and the backside over the formica that you're going to be actually putting on there you apply contact cement to both surfaces and as a reminder contact cement stinks it's terrible and awful and very toxic so make sure you wear a respirator to apply the contact cement we're using a cheap chip brush and we pick off any bristles as we can you're going to let it dry 15 minutes apply a second coat of contact cement to both surfaces and let that dry 15 minutes and now here comes the interesting piece is you position these dowels to help keep the surfaces apart these dowels are just regular old wooden dowels that you buy in a hardware store and the hard, the contact cement that you're using once the reason you let it dry for 15 minutes is mostly it's dry kind of to the touch if you touch it with your finger your finger won't really stick to it the contact cement will stick to itself which is pretty wild but the dowels you place onto the surface that you're laying the formica onto and the dowels have little enough surface area that they won't actually stick to that contact cement. So you position the dowels to help keep the surfaces apart. You position the formica into place over the dowels and then you carefully remove the dowels. At, you kind of press one edge and work the dowel out and working from one edge over you're gonna press that formica into place. Once those two surfaces touch each other with the dowels out there is no going back. Make sure you have the edges lined up just the way you want them. And then using that laminate roller, which is like a, it's a weighted roller, you're going to press hard on the surface of the formica over and over again. And as you start pressing it, you will hear air bubbles being pressed out. Just as a hint, that roller takes a lot of force. You're pressing kind of with all your might and all your weight. Once you're done, enjoy your brand new Formica surface. Formica is an incredible material to use when you are using it with the proper substrate on a boat. Don't go and buy a piece of pre-applied Formica from the hardware store because the substrate is not one that will hold up well in a marine environment. But if you're installing it on the boat, yourself over really good substrate. Formica is a humidity resistant, water resistant, scratch resistant, heat resistant material that goes on flat, looks fantastic, and is very, very easy to keep clean. Sounds like exactly what we want in our new head headspace in the Four Peak. I can't wait to share an anchorage with you when we're just toasting the fact that we're together enjoying this incredible lifestyle. Thank you so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We love hearing from our listeners. We love it when you leave us a five-star review. We love it when you share us with your friends. And we love it when you don't forget to subscribe in your favorite podcast app. Have the most spectacular week. <laughs>